everyone let me tell you about the cabin the cabins look at that I got two pairs of glasses on my head oh my god let me tell you about the cabin when I first saw the cabin it was in West Virginia and near Berkeley Springs and it was just a shell just ugly plywood and that kind of a shape and it was on like two acres now I loved it so much throughout the years that I bought two acres right next door was for um, like 18,000 <clears> and um, of course during my divorce when my ex didn't give me any money for uh, sometimes a year I had to sell it overnight for half I know but I had no money to eat or nothing and the fact that a man would do that to me is appallable it's just appallable but we're not going to talk about that or, but I just opened up memberships for $4.99, I think, a month, and that gives you a call out, and it you get a little emblem whenever you comment. I, I think you also get first right to comment, something like that. Now, there's a $49.99 membership, and that is exclusive videos that... I would not ordinarily put on my main channel because of the content. There's not going to be any explicit pictures, if that's what you are thinking. But it will be content that I can't talk about ordinarily on my regular channel. A lot of it is uh, stories from my past that uh, could be, you know, not monetized over... Um, YouTube, because there's a way that I can make it, the videos, just to certain people, in case you all didn't know. So, I finally did it, so if you want exclusive, and I'll, I'll, I'll like, release, like, a video once a week of this kind of content that, uh, it may be the kind of content you don't want to hear, but it's about my life. So, I figured if you wanted to see what's hidden behind my life that I don't talk about on this channel. You might want to do the $49.95. So that might get you two or three videos exclusive. And uh, I, I'm trying to get approved right now for it. I'll know in a couple of days. So keep looking for that. So uh, let's see. Um, Okay, back to the cabin okay throughout the years of my sister-in-law's life she always wanted a place for her children and grandchildren to go now she took a title to one of her vehicles I don't know how she did it but she did things that I've never seen any other woman do oh my god if there was a will and a way she did it and I I'm very much like her. Yeah. So, she bought this piece of land, and I bought my piece of land a couple years after her. Now, because everybody in our family does ceramic tile and slate and marble and whatever, she remodeled that cabin with the help of me and my ex. He ran all the wires, and uh, I remember him and her putting a pump down their well uh, and uh, wonderful memories no internet there now if you wanted to get on the internet you had to climb a little bit higher up on the mountain to get reception uh, when we first would go in there and stay there was no toilets you had to go in the woods and so the, the cabin progressed from just a shell to a home me and her would go to thrifts markets in West Virginia Berkeley Springs and we would buy the cutest stuff and I of course brought it home to my estate in Fredericksburg and during the divorce I don't know what the hell he did with all those cute things you know it's just when I don't give a crap so uh, she collected rocks and a lot of stone I should say beautiful stone and she did the uh, 
the wall of her jacuzzi. She had the master bedroom with a great mattress. Then she put on um, bunk beds in her other room. She bought little, like a little teeny stove for her kitchen. Her, her kitchen was very miniature, but it was cute as a button. Oh my God. Uh, then she put um, bunk beds up stairs and she got a spiral staircase. So try to envision all of this. Uh, they eventually did get internet and then she put a porch on the back for people who just wanted to have like 10 people over and they could all sleep out there on their sleeping bags. Then she put another porch on the front. I brought her some plants to plant. Like I also did that for my sister. Free because you know I owned a tree company uh, and uh, I think her plants are still there. Now So, the place was gorgeous. Flagstone, like huge pieces of flagstone for the stepping stones to go up into uh, her cabin. And she also put on a huge deck because her then uh, son-in-law owned a fence company and did the deck. So it's just, it was just gorgeous. Now, as she started getting sicker and we couldn't go up there as often, of course, anybody who's had a cabin or lived in the woods in a, on a huge uh, farm or something, you know what happens. You get mice. Well, the last time we were supposed to go up there, we always went up there on July 4th because my brother would go into Pennsylvania, I believe, and get fireworks, bring them back. The display was tremendous. But the last 4th of July, she said, well, we have to cancel. I go, why? I mean... I just love that place. And I'm going to tell you why I love that place. Because when I finally left, I needed a break from, from my life. All I wanted was to be like other people. You know, to go out on a Friday night, be with my friends, maybe have a beer, maybe go dancing. I, I wanted to live like other people, like I think the best way to say this is from paycheck to paycheck. Well, honey, that's what I'm doing now. Paycheck to paycheck. Because if I don't get a paycheck. Okay. So, my life was so uh, isolated. I For years, I didn't know what regular people did. I mean, it was all about making money for the, for the company, right? It was all about that. And a lot of women will leave their husband over this issue because they become workaholics. They never take off for vacations. Let me tell you what, you will destroy not only your life, but others if you are like that. So, uh, <clears throat> I left and I stayed in Diane's cabin for two weeks. It was uh, October. Let me tell you why I was there. I bought the the property next door in cash and I realized from taking long walks uh, something came over me it was a Satori experience an aha thing where I said is this what it's like to have a calm life is this what it's like to have peace and when I was walking to the mailbox from that cabin I realized what I had been missing in my life which was serenity and peace to not be always in a hurry because when you're responsible for lots of employees and you got to be at work every day to run the business that is your focus that is your focus and when you are running a company with a spouse who has a totally different approach to business ethics and morals I believed in doing everything above the law and to in my employees I treated better than my children and my children will tell you that let me tell you, when I left that company, the employees, they actually cried when they saw me. They go, Miss, Miss Debbie, the tree company is nothing like it used to be. And they would start crying because I gave regular raises. I gave them vacation, birthday time. I gave them bonuses. I mean, I treated them very well. I made sure they have all the safety equipment that they needed on, the, on those bucket trucks. Those two weeks told me, that taught me so much. That's why sometimes you have to get out of the forest so you can see the trees. You've 
got to get a different perspective and sometimes that means leaving just just for a little while um, <clears throat> so fast forward to when Diane passes um, another member of the family got ownership of this cabin and now my um, favorite niece I call her Brittany she knows who she is she's the only one who supported me in divorce the only one who was there for me not just one occasion many occasions uh, and she was my mother's favorite too uh, she's very much like my mother I should say my mother was there for people and sometimes she you know didn't take care of her own self-care because of it so um, yeah so fast forward the cabin is now home to Brittany because she's in the middle of her second divorce excuse me and now she's living at the cabin now this place is very isolated there's no way I could tell people to even how to get there but um, she's already cleaned it up she's gonna be happy but she's gonna need someone to visit her because she's very isolated now if it snows oh my god I I'm sure they have a HOA that has a tractor you know somebody there I, I remember paying the HOA there It was only like $21 but yeah, I think Brittany, that's a good place for her because it was a place for me uh, to get perspective on my situation. The cabin. 